PSATs and SATs really do matter. Um, the PSAT is for ninth to the eleventh grade students. You take it. You take a PSAT your ninth grade, tenth and eleventh grade year. That's just to see how you will do on the actual SAT, which <laughs> excuse me, which you take your senior year. Some students take the SAT before their senior year, which is which is fine. It doesn't matter when you take it, as long as you take it. But technically, you're not supposed to take it until your senior year. Because, you know, when you apply to colleges, you have to have an acceptable SAT score to be accepted. Um, your 9th to 11th grade year, when you take the PSAT, that's, um, and when you take that, they look at the scores, and however you score on the PSAT will determine how well you will score on the, on the actual SAT. And, it's, yes, it's going to be some stuff you don't know, but just try your best to answer it. Um... If you don't do as well on the PSAT, then they're not going to expect you to do any better on the actual SAT. So don't think that just because you don't, don't think that just because it doesn't matter that you can just bubble anything. And then just, like, okay, say you're taking the PSAT and you just bubble anything. Then when you become a senior and you take the SAT. Okay, you know, when you just bubble anything, of course, you're going to fail. But when you take the SAT and you just coincidentally passed, then they're going to know that you really didn't care about doing well on the PSAT. However, on the PSAT, if you actually take it just as serious as the actual SAT, and then when you have the simple SAT score, then yeah, they can see that. So make sure you take the PSAT just as serious as the actual SAT. For um, for this for any upcoming high school students. With you start high school this year, the following school year, the school year after next, just any seniors, I mean, any students started high school um from the 17-18 school year and beyond. Any students start a high school year after 17-18. Just make sure you pay attention to this because the SAT is the main thing that they look at when you apply to colleges. Not very many, I mean not very little, don't accept an SAT score, but most of them do. Well, at least the good colleges. And you know, if you want to make big money, you have, you have to go to one of the good colleges. And of course, if you do good, you can get a tuition, complete your FAFSA. If you do good, you can get a scholarship and the school pays for you to go to college. So. Just make sure that you do your best on the PSAT so when the SAT comes you won't be as nervous. You already know what to do and you know and when you do when you take your PSAT you will get your scores back. So if you get your scores back from the PSAT that you passed, then it should be no doubt that you that you'll pass the SAT. But the I'm the SAT is gonna be a lot more difficult because the PSAT is just to practice you for what the quest on the actual SAT will look like. So the SAT is it going to be exactly the same as the PSAT? It's just practice questions. The PSAT is just practice questions for what it will look like on the actual SAT. So don't think that they are the same. Don't think that the questions that you see on the PSAT are going to be somewhat similar to what you see on the SAT. The questions on the SAT are going to be a lot more tougher. They're going to require a lot more thinking. You're going to have to study. So make sure that you take that seriously. Don't take it for granted because if you do, later you will regret it. And you only have so many chances to retake the SAT. I would, I would rather just take it one time for it to be a done deal. So just make sure you do what you have to do the P on the PSAT. So when the SAT comes, you'll be straight. Point blank, period.